Thank you, Bill. I am so excited to be here with all of you this morning and have the opportunity to tell you about AWS RoboMaker. You know, as Bill described in his presentation, there are a number of challenges that get in the way of developers who are trying to build a robotics application. And these challenges take time, a lot of time. And they often add very little value to the application that the robotics developer is trying to build. We have an expression for that in AWS. Does anybody know what that is? Undifferentiated heavy lifting. And the consequence of this undifferentiated heavy lifting is it actually leaves very little time for the developer to build an intelligent robotics application. We are bringing you AWS RoboMaker to eliminate these challenges and to actually accelerate the end-to-end -end development of robotics applications. So developers have more time to innovate in robotics and more time to innovate in the development of intelligent robotics applications. And this could not come at a more perfect time. Network connectivity is becoming increasingly pervasive. Robots and other connected devices can connect to the cloud with millisecond latency, and that is dropping all the time. This is a game changer for robotics because a developer is no longer limited to the physical resources of compute and memory on their device. They're no longer limited by the machine learning or analytics or monitoring software they can code and put into their robot. They can instead take advantage of cloud services and figure out how to partition the work between on the robot and the cloud. We believe the AWS cloud will prove to be one of the most powerful tools that robotics developers have in their toolkit. So AWS RoboMaker is a new service that provides end-to-end -end support for developers to build, test, and deploy intelligent robots. One, ten, hundreds, or thousands of robots. We started our project by extending the most widely used open source software framework for robotics called the Robot Operating System, or ROS. We added extensions to ROS to our cloud services, to our services for machine learning, for analytics, and for monitoring. And we have presented these cloud service extensions to ROS as familiar ROS packages. So a developer who's already familiar with ROS will simply see new packages with new functionality that they can take advantage of. For our launch, the cloud extensions for ROS include Amazon Lex for speech recognition, Amazon Polly for speech generation, Kinesis Video Streams to stream video off the robot, LiDAR, radar, recognition that will perform image and video analysis, and CloudWatch logging and monitoring. Now let's just stop for a second and think about what you can do with these services on a robot you'll be able to talk to your robot and it will understand what you're saying. It can in turn respond back to its user, asking for further information or acknowledging the command. You can stream LiDAR, radar, video off the camera to the cloud for analytics. And if you're sending it to recognition, it can identify objects that it's seeing in its periphery and take action on that. You can turn CloudWatch monitoring on to know exactly in the world where your robot is turn logging on and see a dashboard of log records to troubleshoot your robot. And we have even more cloud service integrations coming. Already today, we have customers like Robot Care Systems, Future Robot, and Advanced Robot Solutions, which are using these services to add more intelligence to their robot. This is Leah. Leah is an intelligent robot walker that allows the elderly and disabled people to live more independently and live more active lifestyles. I think Leah is a brilliant ex example of how robots are actually going to enable and enrich our lives for people that use these robots. And what a more natural way for someone to interact with something that they rely upon on a daily basis than to speak to the robot. Now, Leah is capable of voice commands through integration 
with Amazon Lex and Amazon Polly. Now let's just stop. Let's say, okay, I've convinced you you want to go give this a try. We're going to go off and build a robotics application as a team. One of the first things we have to do is to get all of our systems configured and kitted out all the same way. RoboMaker provides a robotic development environment. You can go to the AWS Management Console and configure your environment with one click of a mouse. Our service will, con will configure scalable storage to store all the artifacts for your development process. It will confi configure compute and provision compute for compiling, testing, debugging. In addition, it will download the operating system you've selected to put onto your robot. From this development environment, you can see all the ROS packages which are available for you to choose from, as well as the extensions we've provided. There's actually a library of sample applications which work right out of the box on a reference robot, so you can even start working right away. You can get your whole team set up within a few minutes. All right, so we're writing code. You know, most robots, you don't build the hardware until you've tried out different sensors, different actuators. You do this through simulation. And in fact, even when you've got everything built end to end, you want to run your application to make sure all the messages are being processed. RoboMaker provides scalable simulation for you to iterate and test your robotic application. Then you can make your hardware decisions. Now, step back for a second and think about Leah that intelligent robot walker, which was designed to work for people of all height, all ages, all weight. And Leah has to operate in a wide range of operating environments, hardwood floors, carpet, various degrees of carpet. And she has to operate in room with obstacles. This may require you to run tens or hundreds of simulations. And some of them are going to be very complex. RoboMaker simulation provides and supports large-scale simulations and allows you to run parallel simulations, hundreds of parallel simulations. And we provide you with pre-built worlds, such as rooms in a house, retail stores, racetracks. We'll be adding more, but you can also load your own room, drop your robot into that room, and, it will, and see how it operates. You can change different configurations and run this in parallel. You can actually run thousands of hours of simulation within a single hour. Turning physics models on, it supports very rich simulation. All right, hopefully you've seen the power of simulation. We've now written some code, we've simulated it, we've tested it. Oh, I should point out, excuse me, folks. We have customers today like Stanley Black & Decker, NASA JPL, which are using simulation today for more agile development and to test real world applications out like inspection drones, and the NASA Mars rover. Okay, now let's go push this a little bit further. We've built our application, our robot has been built. It's time to put it in production. And as Bill pointed out, these robots could be anywhere in the world. RoboMaker provides fleet management, which allows you to perform over the air installation of your program, over the air updates later. You can monitor your entire fleet of robots and, test and, and monitor their performance from our development environment. And we have based our fleet management on AWS IoT Greengrass. So you immediately get a registry of all of your robots, and you have the security and fault tolerance when you're pushing updates. You know if the update succeeded. If the robot's busy, the update will, will defer until the robot's in a quiescent state. And it, you have the security of AWS IoT Greengrass to know that nobody else can install software on your robot once it's been put into production. So in summary, AWS RoboMaker, it provides you the tools and the services you need to remove that undifferentiated lifting we've been talking about th this evening. It accelerates each step in the development and process so developers can focus more time on creating innovative robotics applications. And I'm excited to share, as part of our ongoing support for robotics and open source communities, we are contributing all the software for the cloud extensions we've written and all the documentation to open source. We're also working as a partner on the technical steering committee for ROS2, which is the next version of ROS, to contribute open source software as well. 
and any of you who are interested in robotics, I would encourage you to get involved in this activity. And how could I forget? We're going to make this real for you all throughout this week. Real robots like the NASA JPL open source rover. NASA has open sourced all of the plans so that you can build your own Mars rover. And now you can do so using AWS RoboMaker. You can see this all in action at the RoboMaker session on Thursday at 12.15 p.m. And if you're like me, a fan of NASA and space exploration, you're definitely going to want to check out the AWS simulcast of the NASA InSight Mars landing this morning at 11.30, about the time the, the Midnight Madness after party is getting over. That's going to be fun to watch. So, We've got a lot of events going on this week that I want to encourage you to check out. We have two sessions where we're going to have deep dive into AWS RoboMaker. We're going to have customers like NASA JPL, Stanley Black & Decker, and Robot Healthcare Systems talking to you about how they've built their robot, how they've used RoboMaker, so you'll learn about these real examples, you'll learn about RoboMaker. We have workshops where you can get hands-on developing an application, a robotics application with RoboMaker to actually go find, track and find Fido, which is something we're going to have in the room. So you can go end to end and build a real application at our workshops. We have chalk talks, select chalk talks by the developers who actually built the service, talking to you about what we built, how it works, so you can learn more. We have demos of real robots in action at the Builders Fair and at the AWS Village. And if you're raring to get started, AWS RoboMaker is live right now. Go to aws.amazon.com slash RoboMaker. So I ask you, go build. Go build intelligent robotics applications with AWS RoboMaker. On behalf of the team, Domo Arigato, have a fantastic reInvent, and I'm going to turn you over to the band, which is in one of these stages, I think, over there. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you.